When it opens, though, hold on. Hold on, give me first. Bob, can, can you talk a little bit about tonight? How tonight is different from all the other awards? Hey, everybody. Bob Knackle, chairman and CEO of BKREA, coming to you from the Red Awards, the Architecture and Construction Awards tonight. And let me tell you something, tonight, so different from all the other award show because we really honored and recognized the folks who build this city, design this city, make the buildings that we all live in and work in. It was a great night tonight. So many wonderful people that design, create, build, and allow us to live in the greatest city in the world and the greatest buildings in the world, residential buildings, commercial buildings. I love what these folks do, and it's about time they got the, the recognition that they deserve. So great tonight to see so many great people getting recognized for the great work they do. Wish you were here. If you weren't here, you missed it. If you missed it, be here next year because it's going to be even better. Uh, Bob, question. We are one week away from elections. None of the people mentioned whether the Trump win or uh, Harris will win. What is your prediction? What do you think who will win uh, election in the next week? Yeah, so with regard to the election, not sure it's going to have much of an impact, I think. It really comes down to whether the, uh, the winner of the presidential race will control both houses of Congress. Uh, if they control Congress, could be big changes. If they don't control Congress, not going to be big changes. You can predict the future. You've seen it so many times before. What's your take on the election? You don't have to say the, the candidate that you like. Just what do you, who do you think will win? Yeah, I, I can't predict what's going to happen with the election, but I will tell you that I don't think there's going to be a tremendous impact on the real estate market unless the presidential candidate controls both the House and the Senate. If that happens, who knows what can happen with taxes. Uh, taxes, more than anything else, control what happens in our real estate market. I don't expect any big changes. We'll see what happens. Probably will be a divided Congress. That might not be the worst thing in the world, but we'll see what happens. Uh, my last question. Uh, everybody talks about AI, artificial intelligence. How do you think the new changes in technology affect real estate life in New York City? Yeah, AI is completely changing the world. Um, you know, 40 years ago when I started in this business, sat at my desk, I had no computer, no, uh, no cell phone, no fax machine. The world has changed dramatically in 40 years, but I think the extent to which the world is going to change over the next five years is going to blow away what happened over the last 40. AI will change the world. The people who use AI are going to have a significant advantage over the people who don't. If you're not using AI, you're going to be replaced by somebody that does. Really changing the world. So many great things about it. Very, very powerful. Get on board with technology or get left in the dust. Um, last question. What, what is your take for your future? What excites you? What do you want to do? Like, you've done so much. You accomplished so much. You're already like, a, a quite there. What, what, what makes you happy? What, what, what do you want to do? What's your next target? Look, what's exciting me out of the future? I just want to sell more buildings. You know, last, in the past couple of weeks, I sold 2,341. I got to get to 3,000. I got a lot more work to do. Might make, take me 10 years, might take me 12 years, might take me 15 years, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to keep working hard. I love this business more than anything in the world. Going to keep working hard, keep selling buildings, and watch out, world, we're coming for you. But uh, we got some great stuff going on. Six months in, sold two buildings, big development site under contract, 24 exclusive listings, $1.6 billion dollars in exclusives. We're going to kick ass, baby. Watch out for us. BKREA is on the roll. Can I, can I plug in one more question? How, I do a lot of fashion shows. I do billboards in Times Square, if you remember. How do you think fashion affects uh, real estate as uh, people? When you dress in fancy clothes, like a nice uh, like a jacket as you are, do you think you draw attention and it's uh, like fashion helps you to sell? Uh, the, the, does fashion help me sell buildings? Well, I have a pretty fancy jacket on tonight. I don't know that it's helping me sell any buildings. 